Hey guys, welcome back to another EDC Weekly. Before we get started, I want to make a few things clear. Last week, I said you could go to edcw.co and submit your EDCs. I realized today that I didn't do that last week, so now that's available, you can go to edcm.co or edcw.co and submit your EDC to be featured in a future video. So sorry that I told you that it was working and it wasn't. My bad, I just totally, I forgot to even buy the domain. So there's that, it's now working. I've checked it, it's all set up and good to go. Go there, submit, you might win something at the end of this month. Second thing is, I don't know if you've noticed or not, I haven't shared a ton of links here, there's no way for me to really share links here, but I now do EDC deals, daily deals. I curate them, I look for them across the internet, I find them, I post them. It helps keep the lights on because I'm posting affiliate links and it helps you guys find deals on the stuff that you're already gonna buy anyway. So if you want to see EDC deals, go to modernoutdoordweller.com. There you'll find deals for outdoor gear, EDC gear news for new EDC products coming up from stuff like Indiegogo, Kickstarter. So go to modernoutdoordweller.com, linked down below, and you'll get EDC news and gear deals every single day. All right, with that said, this is the EDC Weekly. I did not pick a theme. I went through all of the submissions so far. Thank you for sending them all in, but I couldn't pick a theme this time. I just picked three that I really, really like. This first submission comes from Connor Morgan. This was actually one of the very first submissions since I opened this whole thing back up. And I wanted to put it in last week's video, but it didn't fit that theme, the leather theme. So I really actually wanted to include it in this week's video because I do like it a lot. If you want to find Connor, you can't. He's not on Instagram, or if he is, he didn't share it, so sorry. Anyway, first up here we have the iPhone 7, which is in a tortoise notebook folding case, which you actually can't buy anymore. I looked it up, I found it, you can't buy it. And there aren't any similar ones on Amazon that I could find. Below that we have the Victorinox Traveler Lite, which is a really, really cool folding knife with a bunch of stuff built in. He also has the Manta Ray khaki leather and canvas card holder. Those little things at the bottom that look like earbuds are actually silicone earplugs from that company called IF. That's actually the company name, that company called IF. And next to that there is Malibu 30 SPF lip balm, which he says comes in a three pack. He is using the watermelon. Back up at the top, we have the Gentleman's Hardware Notebook. And I just wanna say, I like Gentleman's Hardware stuff. I bought this cup a long time ago. Gentleman's Hardware has the same logo on it. It's an enamel cup. They have a lot of stuff like this. It's a little cheesy, the adventure begins, but man, I love this cup. It's my favorite cup. And it's got my coffee in it right now, which is actually um, rye whiskey. Anyway, strapped to that with a rubber band, he has the Zebra F301 pin in one millimeter. And he also has eyeglasses, which he said are unbranded, cheapest in the store. My man. The handkerchief you see there is one that he says belonged to his late grandfather, and the bracelet on top of it is made from old bootlaces. He made it himself. The watch pictured here is the Rotary Pilot Chronograph. He also has a Mini Cooper key fob and an unbranded key smart or key organizer the Cardiff University shopping cart token, a Tesco supermarket loyalty card, thanks for sharing, and a Reading Festival lanyard clip. So quite a few things here, no real overall theme at all, but all of it has this just nice, simple aesthetic to it. And something about it just spoke to me. Connor says, great to see you doing EDC Weekly again. I'm looking forward to the new videos. As a university student studying chemistry, one of these items are specifically used for that. I, I don't know which one that is. He says, knife has a flashlight attached, which is powerful enough for anything I'd need it for. Most used components are small blade, scissors, screwdriver, and toothpick. I live in the UK, so there are restrictions on what knives we can carry. I like a Swiss Army knife as it enables me to fix minor things that would otherwise be irritating. Example, tightening a screw on a loose chair in the library. The wallet is slim and lined, not too bulky in my pocket, can fit folded notes and any cards I require. The earplugs. I find it hard to concentrate on my notes in the library, but listening to music doesn't help either. The earplugs shut out any background noise. As for that, I totally agree, but that's actually the reason I go to a coffee shop is the background noise. But when I can't focus and I'm, there's too much background noise going on, binaural audio. That's like the ticket. Binaural audio. For some reason, you just zone in, man, and it works. Try it out. As for the notebook, I never used to carry a notebook until there was a spate of fraudulent salesmen in my area. Okay. I got it to jot down car registrations and descriptions if necessary and now use it for everything from reminders and recipes to lab notes and exam prep. I guess that makes sense. A notebook for lab notes. Pen. Although I prefer the way a regular plastic pen feels in my hand, they are a lot cheaper. There is a big awareness of disposable plastics in the UK at the moment, so I'm sticking to metal. Protect the environment and all that. There is plastic to the zebra pen, just saying. 
but still, I love the 301. The eyeglasses used for driving and seeing the board during lectures. Handkerchief, sentimental and good for cleaning my spectacles. And keys. In the UK, many shopping carts require a $1 coin to access. I don't always have one on me, so the token comes in handy. Also, I live in a rented accommodation, and there is nowhere to drop my keys near the door, and I'm not permitted to hang any nails on the wall, so I have a lanyard over the banister of my stairs near the door, and I use the clip to hang my keys there for easy access. All makes sense, everything has a purpose, and I like it. And we also have a place like that here in the States called Aldi. It's not an American company, but they do have that where you have to put a quarter in to get a cart. And it's kind of annoying because if you don't have a quarter, you can't get a cart, or you can go inside and break change, but if you don't have cash, you're out of luck. So either always keep a quarter on you or shop somewhere else. Anyway, thanks for sharing, Connor. I really like this. I like that chronograph, and I've recently been getting into chronographs. I'm not gonna buy any more because I don't need more than one watch or two watches one for you know looking decent one for outdoors but i like chronographs I'm, I'm just kind of into them now not expensive ones i don't care for super expensive overpriced things but still i like that chronograph i love mine anyway thank you for sharing you now have another entry into this month's giveaway next up is a submission from kevin meyer i shared this on instagram earlier this week and if you're wondering what the perfect edc picture to submit for yours into this whole edc weekly thing is this is it this is the picture that you should share or something that at least looks like it it's clear it's done very well uh, not everybody can do that i understand but something that's top down and just crisp this is this is great and i had to share it in this video i, I had to include it you can find Kevin on Instagram at Karma Empire. First up here, we have the Recycled Firefighter Leather Sergeant Wallet, and next to that is a Fisher Space Pen Bullet, as well as a Field Notes Craft Notebook. The keychain you see here is the Archetype PMK, which is a carabiner that's also magnetic. And he has the K-Bar TDI Serrated Fixed Blade Knife. The other knife you see here is the Columbia River Knife and Tool Pilar, designed by Jesper... I'm not going to try his last name. Not even going to try it. The phone you see to the left is the Wiko Lenny 3, which he says is a cheap $50 phone. And the watch here is the Timex Expedition Metal Field Watch. And it has a Hirsch Forest leather strap on it. The multi-tool pictured here is the Leatherman Style PS, and he also wears a Fitbit Flex 2. The flashlight here is the Olight i1R EOS, which is a new light from Olight. And finally, we have the Orbit Key for organizing his keys. And this is clean, I like it a lot. Kind of makes me jealous, and I really kind of want that Columbia River Knife and Tool knife. But I don't need any more knives. Man, EDC is tough. It's expensive, and I want everything. Anyway, Kevin says, Ever since I got into EDC about 10 years ago, before it was actually even called EDC, I think, it was just gear, stuff. I've always been into it, but it never had a name until recently. He said, I tried to streamline and minimalize my whole loadout. So I only carry gear which I use daily, or at least on a weekly basis. The Field Notes Notebook helps me to remember all the tasks, grocery lists, etc. that I would otherwise forget. Having a space pen means I can write down important stuff everywhere, every time. The CRKT Pilar gets used every day at work, cutting boxes, rope, opening letters, etc. Also the Leatherman style PS comes in handy too. The Orbit Key in combination with the Arctype PMK is the best and fastest way to get to your key, in my opinion. For the watch I needed, something inexpensive and reliable and the Indiglo feature is a big plus as well. Agreed. Olight's newest and smallest light provides me with enough lumen, 5 to 130, to not get lost in the urban jungle or under my bed. The K-Bar would be for self-defense though I never had to use it, and I also don't plan to. Since I started running a few weeks ago, it's nice to see my progress on the Fitbit Flex 2. Since I don't care about tech at all, and I'd rather buy a new knife than spend money on a smartphone, I got a $50 phone that does the very basics just fine, and that's good enough for me. You know what? I do carry two phones, but man, even phones three or four years ago get by just fine. $50 is kind of pushing it for me, though. That, you know, more power to you. That's pretty intense. Anyway, I know I made my EDC video a week ago, but... I've already started adding new things to it. I, it never ends, man. And I never thought I would have a flashlight in my EDC, but I got one of these. I'm not gonna let you get too good of a look at it. I wanna actually talk about it in a future video on this channel, but let me know what you think about that Olight. Send me a message on Instagram or something, and let me know what you think and if you've got any complaints, because I wanna do kind of a roundup of keychain flashlights now. Um, I wanna highlight this one specifically but i want to compare a few others so i'm thinking i'm going to compile a little roundup of uh, some different edc gear so if you've got any keychain flashlights you want me to take a look at 
drop them in the comments down below. Anyway, thank you again, Kevin. You know I really like the CDC. I shared it earlier in the week and it's just great. The picture's great, the stuff inside it's great. I love it. And thank you again for sharing. You now have another entry into this month's giveaway. The third and final submission this week comes from Devon or Devon Kelly. Not sure which or how to pronounce that, but it's definitely one of the two. And this picture has all the feels and all the textures, and I just love it. You can find him on Instagram at Alexander underscore Broderick. Anyway, first up we have the Timex Expedition Scout 36 watch in the matte metal finish with a brown leather strap. He also carries an unknown chapstick, which looks like it's wrapped in duct tape, and he carries the Gerber Dime multi-tool. Beside that, you see a small bottle that is for essential oil, though he doesn't specify which essential oil. My guess, if it were me, would be peppermint oil because it's like the best thing ever made. But for him, I don't know. He also has a handkerchief, just a generic one. It's an old handkerchief. He has an Altoid Smalls tin with handy items he often uses. He also carries the Kershaw Shuffle, a Fossil Slim wallet, and a small leather notepad with a Zebra F701 stainless steel pin. Apparently he also carries flower petals in his pockets or it's just there for the picture and it looks really nice. Nice little touch. I don't know if you did that on purpose, but if you did, you know, hats off. Nobody else has flower petals in their EDCs. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Anyway, he says, the watch, I simply use it for keeping time, but I really love the Expedition series that Timex makes. Here, here, I love my watch. I might've said that a few times already. The lip balm I use for those dry days and the essential oil mix I made for anxiety and headaches. I've been using the Gerber Dime for quite a while and for small tasks, it is definitely my tool of choice. The handkerchief has many uses, so as long as I use it, I will carry it. The Altoid Small Tin has some items that I found to be useful, like a couple pills, sewing needles, and band-aids. And then the knife I simply use when I need to cut something. The wallet for cards and cash, and I'm a big fan of slim design wallets. I handmade this leather notepad and I'm in love with it because I made it slim and small enough for pockets. I use it often and the pen goes along with it nicely. I'm very excited that the EDC Weekly is back. I love seeing everyone's awesome gear. Good job, man. Thank you. And on that point, I don't know if I've mentioned this yet or not, but Last week it occurred to me why people enjoyed the EDC Weekly. Alex and I talked about it some because I never quite understood why people liked it so much. All I knew was that I made an EDC one time, a couple times, and then people started sharing theirs with me and I wanted to do something with that content. Because why just share it with me on Twitter? Nobody else is gonna see it and I like them a lot. I wanted to share what people shared with me. Ergo, we built the EDC Weekly kind of together but I never understood why it took off or why people loved seeing other people's EDCs so much. And then it dawned on me, like Alex is on Pinterest a lot, pinning things that she likes, looking at other things, just browsing. And it's almost like window shopping for the new digital age. And that's what the EDC Weekly is. It's almost like window shopping for EDC gear, finding stuff that you hadn't seen before, seeing different ways that people carry something, the different versions of something that work better for somebody else, or just getting inspiration for your own. Whatever it may be, that's what it's about. And I frankly love it. It's hard on me because I'm seeing all these submissions and all this gear, and it's hard for me to not want to buy it all. I've probably spent too much on EDC stuff in the last two weeks, but I'm gonna just let it slide. <laughs> I've gotta be better about it in the future and not spend so much, but man, I wanna. And to be fair, good EDC gear is very expensive. I've been looking at a few things like, there's a pry bar that I saw that was $200 and sold out. I'll never get some of it. Some of it just doesn't make sense to me, but man, the social aspect of it and the shopping and, and comparing and you know constant changing and evolving of my EDC and other people who've shared theirs with me over the years and they've changed, I love it. I love it all. So thank you guys for sharing and thank you for sharing your EDC with me. You now have a second entry into this month's giveaway. And if you want your EDC shared in a future video, go to edcw.co, fill out the form there, submit yours. You'll be entered into a monthly giveaway, but you'll also potentially be featured in a future video if I like it. I also thought of something. If I like your EDC enough, I'll feature it as the banner on the channel and on Facebook and on Twitter. I'll feature different people's EDCs just anywhere and everywhere I can, because why not, right? They look great. Inspiration for other people gives you a shout out and it makes my stuff fresh. 
So I'm doing that too. Anyway, thank you for submitting it. Continue to submit more. Even if you've already done it, submit again. Just do it. Why not, right? I need submissions so I can continue to do this every single week. And I'm going to try to supplement with different content like flashlights and just different EDC gear, just featuring it and showing it off on video. And if you want to see anything specifically to EDC, just let me know in the comments down below or hit me on Twitter. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Casper Tech. You can find the channel on Twitter and Instagram at Best Damn EDC. And you can find deals on EDC gear and news on new EDC gear that's coming out at modernoutdoordweller.com. I think that's everything. So if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And until next week, carry on. I don't know if I like that. I don't know. I'll figure it out eventually.